What's crack like? It's your boy Broshmo. Just in case you did not know so, and if you didn't know so, hit that subscribe button. Only if you enjoy the content, of course. I put it out quite frequently. Anyway, we're talking about fantasy football sleepers. What a sleeper is, some guy you could probably get later on who produces at a high level. Who produces, some would say, at an elite level. Anyway, let's go in. I'm talking tight ends. I'm talking. I'm talking. There we go. Let's pronounce our words properly, okay? No offense, man. No offense. Um, Denver drafted him. He's going to be their starting tight end. He is more... He's got some run capabilities, but he's more of a receiver. And Flacco, case point, loves to throw to his receivers. Right now, his ADP, which is average draft position. Say it with me. Average draft position. Basically, they have him going in the 13th round. You could honestly pick him up maybe in the 11th to 12th round, and you could potentially get a starting caliber tight end. I mean, that's huge getting a tight uh, a reliable tight end that late you can pick him up to be your your bench at, at first and maybe he produces like a stud because he is athletically a stud he is very gifted they right now got him as the 15th overall tight end so you could snag him and just kind of just sit there and wait anyway next i got mikol hardman or mikol hardman man so Tyreek kill probably out for the season He's suspended. He probably ha taken his last snap in Kansas City. Uh, Sammy Watkins. Sammy Watkins is hurt all the time. He's probably going to be hurt six games this year. They need a wideout. They were frantic. They traded up to get Mikhail Hall. Uh, Mikhail Hall uh, oh my goodness, tongue twister. Mikhail Hardman. There we go. They traded up in the second round to snag him. He is a speed threat. I'm not saying he is uh, Tyreek Hill V2. But they expect him to play special teams. He's going to serve some type of role in that offense going forward. Someone's got to catch the ball there. And, I mean, it's a pass-heavy uh, offense. Patrick Mahomes, he throws a beautiful deep ball. Matter of fact, he throws a beautiful, accurate deep ball. So, our boy Miko here is going to be the recipient of that. He's gaining a lot of steam. They got him right now, 10th round. So, there, hopefully, you're getting him as your flex or maybe your wide receiver four. They got him right now ranked uh, 108th overall. Um, I would say let's wait to see a little more of the um, more of the training camp stuff. But you can snag a potential wide receiver one and or wide receiver two, and that late in in the uh, in a draft, you did good. You did good. Next, I got Darrell Henderson, the Rams running back. So. Todd Gurley, man, he was pretty banged up at the end of the year. I know I was a Todd Gurley owner, and it cost me. It cost me late. But this guy, he's picking up a lot of steam. Right now they got him, his ADP is the ninth round, which is like, that's pretty high for a starter, uh, for a, a backup running back, a, be a rookie backup running back at that. Um, but where it is, they're trying to use this guy like maybe Alvin Kamara. I mean, and... Honestly, this guy's Taylor, Taylor fit for this offense. He is a zone running back. He loves those off uh, those off zones, and I mean he can break it. He can break it. He can break it. The man's blazing fast. So snagging him ain't so bad, if, especially if it's like a running back four uh, or a, I won't even put him as a flex. But again, he's gaining steam. Maybe hopefully a little bit, a little bit of that will taper off. Uh, by the time uh, most of y'all are drafting that August uh, area. But keep an eye out. He can produce huge, especially maybe if Todd Dur Gurley gets hurt. He's going to get a bulk of the carries. Next, I got my boy Derrick Henry. I have Derrick Henry as a first round uh, musket. Like, I think he can produce uh, first round points. I mean,. The dude right now, his ADP is third round, which I think is very low. If you could snag this guy in the second round, you potentially have snagged an RB1 in round three. That's wild. They have him as the 19th ranked running back, and that's a crime. This guy, at the end of last year, that's where he did most of his damage. Those final six games, he was nigh unstoppable. Fly just popped my screen, man. 
why my dog's going so crazy looking for this thing. Hunt it down, Aquila. Anyway, Derrick Henry, man. I'm just saying, you could snag this guy in the third round. When you think sleeper, people are like, well, that's later round picks. We're talking about our first round grade guy going in the third? Keep an eye out, man. Derrick Henry. I think he's a must get. Next, I got Justice Hill out of Baltimore. Now, like I talked about in my uh, other video, Justice Hill, they drafted this guy, and I think they, they planned big things for him. I can imagine a uh, very similar Mark Ingram, Justice Hill, like what we saw in New Orleans. Not to that level. Alvin Kamara is a very special uh, player. But Justice Hill, I think he's going to eat up a lot of Gus Edwards' uh, carries. And right now, you could get this guy in the 14th round. That's where his ADP's at. 58th uh, running back overall. I mean, that's a steal. Especially if you just let him sit on the bench and you could just wait. Wait it out. Wait a couple, two, three weeks. See how they're using him. But you could, you could potentially get a solid flex player in the meantime right there. Next, I got Kareem Hunt out of the Browns. You might be like, Kareem Hunt? Man, suspended for, for the first eight games. When it comes to playoff time, you might be thanking me. They got him right now. He's actually picked up a lot of steam. They got him in the eighth round. I mean... Combine him with Chubb, that's a very dangerous, very potent backfield. Um, eighth round, I think, might be a little high. Probably wait till the 10th area. But if you can snag Kareem Hunt that late, I mean, you, you, oh, I mean, what he could do in the pass game, and I mean, we saw it in Kansas City. If you're getting that same caliber of player, then that is a steal. Next, I got Deontay Johnson out. Pittsburgh Steelers um I'm not gonna say this guy's the next Antonio Brown but I see a lot of Antonio Brown in him this guy um I thought they were gonna draft him because he was such a similar prospect to Antonio Brown when he was coming out he just seemed like um a Pittsburgh type of player and you know they draft those wide receivers late and they produce granted we still got James Washington in the mix here but this guy could be key in the slot and he could be Honestly, they have him undrafted. You just snag him in the last three rounds and have him sit on the bench and kind of wait and see. You might you might be very pleasantly surprised. This guy could be a great flex. Um, he's going to do a lot. And uh, I think he'll play a little bit in the special teams as well. So he could serve you there if you got uh, deep, uh, leagues that are that deep. But um, yeah, that's a, that's a quality player just to stash on your bench. Next, I got Ronald Jones the second. The disappointment last year fans had, especially if you were in Tampa, man. I mean, a lot of people thought this guy was going to come in and start immediately. He couldn't get past uh, Peyton Barber, and when he did get carries, it didn't look great. But word is, Bruce Arians is very high on Ronald Jones here. So, they have him right now with a 10th round grade. You get him as a running back four, and you kind of just sit back and wait. I I'm excited to see what that, how that offense will look under Bruce Arians so you get him as a flex or running back four hey that, that could be a solid pick and that's there in the 10th round you should already have three running backs shame on you if you don't next I got Dante Pettis San Francisco wide receiver Rapolo God Rapolo is back man back with a vengeance man Pettis this man produced uh Late, late last year, um, he, he he showed big play threat. The man, the man could break free on those verticals, and he had a lot of pa uh, yards after the catch. He looked really good late in the year, and now with uh, Garoppolo back, um, you got you got a he is this guy's your number their number one receiver. They're gonna have to pass to win games there in San Fran, so. I mean, I think this might be a breakout year for Pettis. Granted, this is only a second season, but you could get this guy at a as a wide receiver three seventh round. You should have two other wide receivers. Why don't you have two other wide receivers yet? But you could snag him, and he could maybe be a wide receiver too. So I would feel comfortable snagging him. They right now, like I said, ADP. They have him in the seventh round. I have no problem grabbing him in the seventh round. You could grab him a little earlier than oh, okay man why not he can, like i said 
he is essentially their star receiver there. Next, I got another buck. I got Jameis Winston. Man, this ain't, this ain't me. I wouldn't say Jameis Winston just because the highs with Jameis Winston are high, but the lows are devastating. I mean, I don't, I, I, I'm hoping Bruce Arians can maybe revive Jameis Winston's uh, career here. And maybe we can see uh, a little bit of that first round pedigree that he had because he's got the arm talent. He's just got to be smarter with the ball. But Sportsline, um, right now, they have him as their top sleeper. Now, these guys also anticipated Andrew Luck's breakout performance last year, coming off an injury. Um, right now, his ADP, ninth round, could be falling. They have him as the 13th overall uh, uh, quarterback. So you get him to be your backup, and you might have a starter or even a spot starter right there who could produce huge. We're talking about... Um, He's in a he's in a division with the defenses of Carolina who they're in rebuild mode especially on defense and then Atlanta who looked a hot mess last year and they'll probably be better granted but again I have no problem going with this I th and they're going to have to they're going to have to pass to win which means opportunity he's going to get opportunity to score just know that when you're drafting Jameis Winston you gotta take the highs with the low and to be a backup quarterback round nine that sounds good to me but anyway that's the video if you like yeah you, you know what i ain't gonna describe it you know the youtube stuff just do it but anyway until next time y'all be easy my friends later